Good morning everyone this is another session on Vedic Astrology and in this video we will be discussing about the 10th house. So you see 10th house is very important in Vedic Astrology because it forms the highest Kendra. We know the Kendra house is a house number 1, 4, 7 and 10. So you know 10th house becomes the strongest Kendra amongst the 4 Kendras that is 1, 4, 7 and 10. So first of all let us try to understand what does 10th house you know what what does it mean what does it refer to okay it refers towards your livelihood it refers towards your work okay it refers towards business as well it indicates towards promotion what's your basic occupation okay so all i mean career related things okay career related things and apart from that it also indicates towards government you know whether you will do well in a government service or not is also indicated by 10th house so your public image okay your public image is also indicated by the 10th house your rank your status your position of authority okay public esteem ruling powers okay honor these are some of the keywords even living abroad is seen from the 10th house and again it also in the house of uh, karmas if you have done good karmas then this house also gives you a lot of results of the same 9th house also does that 10th house also kind of does that so you see 10th house has a lot of relevance and important and uh, to brief you up 10th house represents your public figure it represents how your status rank in the public is it also indicates towards your basic occupation and things like that that's why the 10th house sign becomes really important so we'll be trying to understand uh, like the placement of different signs in 10th house what it can mean for example the sign of uh, if the person has in the 10th house the sign of Aries in that case the person will try to go into a military uh, you know military type of an atmosphere uh, uh, the person will be quite athletic athletical so he the person can go into sports the person can also go into uh, a military field because the tenth house being Aries indicates towards a lot of aggression. It also indicates towards a strong inclination towards military. Okay. Uh, now again, uh, if it also depends upon the placement of Mars. If play, if Mars is placed very well, then the person will succeed. Uh, he can be promoted to a very high rank in military or will do very well in sports as well so it depends because whenever Aries is present in the 10th house it gives uh, the person a lot of powerfulness a lot of strength a lot of aggressiveness and that's how the person will do well also if the uh, person has a very stable Mars this will increase the chances of uh, you know the person succeeding in the above things especially in police also in military also things like that also 10th uh, house tells about your public figure so what happens is people look to you as that people find you aggressive people look at you as a you know very aggressive person who wants to get ahead who's very you know who's getting ahead all the time who's quite confident and things like that so 10th house tells about your outer appearance 10th house tells about your public image it tells about the occupations also to which you can go in for now let us take another example let us say if the sign of Taurus is present then the uh, then in that case what will happen is again it depends on the placement of Venus because if Venus is placed well okay or is placed in a very good sign then um, you know it will give very good results for example let's say 10th house uh, has the sign uh, has the sign of Taurus and Venus is conjunct with Mercury because conjunction with Mercury of Venus is considered very good so what will happen is if Venus is very in a very powerful placement then the person will get the job on his own merit okay the person will uh, reach to a very high position in life but this will be totally because of his or her own own hard work oh, even if promotion is required the person will plan for his promotion he will uh, if he wants to you know advertise the person will advertise on his own the person will do all the hard work but the person will definitely do well in life because if venus is placed well especially with mercury it gives a lot of uh, you know the person succeeds to a different level but again all this comes through merit and hard work also the person can go into jobs like writing publishing journalism okay all these kind of things the person will do exceedingly well okay the person can publish his own uh, you know books the person can uh, uh, you know will be very good in writing will be very good in creative writing because venus gives you all that okay 
the person will also you know might hold a job related to stock market or banking okay even banking or stock market is also preferred this uh, tendency goes higher when venus is in conjunct with mercury because mercury gives you that amount of intellect and brains to crack through these exams okay so this is uh, again it all depends on the placement of uh, you know venus if venus is placed well you can do well in all these aspects okay a weak venus will be you know somewhat dangerous the carrier might not be very good especially if the 10th house sign is taurus you have to be very careful in case of your you know uh, carrier options uh, as an image wise you are seen as a very hard working person you are seen as a very refined person again if venus is present in conjunct with mercury you are also seen as a very good speaker so yes all your image will be driven by the uh, venus uh, in this case now if the 10th house sign has the sign of gemini okay let us take it has the sign of gemini then this person would be uh, you know well respected in government the person can be very very you know uh, very versatile okay the person might change jobs so one has to be careful because gemini is a very moving planet and that's uh, that's why one has to be careful it can also give the person uh, the person can again succeed in writing publishing and things like that because even gemini is good in all those kind of things also people look at you as a very versatile intellectual person a slightly airy the person might feel that you for you status is slightly important and in general it is also <laughs> So whenever the tenth house has the sign of Gemini, you can be slightly driven by your public image, by your status, and apart from that, you can be very versatile and can do well in bank and government exams. Now, when the tenth house sign has the sign of Cancer, now when it has the sign of Cancer, again, uh, you know uh, what it can mean that you can you're very compassionate, you're very caring your, your public image is something like that and you can do well in teaching interior decorations okay uh, professions that involves helping others social service wherever sympathy is required where wherever you see suffering of people you tend to help them so that becomes your main drive and uh, and any professions which uh, you know attract that or probably uh, you know uh, give such situations you will be attracted towards them apart from that it also can mean okay uh, that your image is seen up to as a very caring emotional moody person because 10th house it represents how people look at you your occupations and also can tell about your general status so we covered up till cancer uh, i would like you to you know try and guess what will happen if different signs are present in the 10th house i discussed till cancer now uh, you can try uh, what about sagittarius what about capricorn what about aquarius what about pisces try to you know analyze that and if you have any suggestions to put them uh, in the comment section you can tell what will happen if sagittarius is present also remember one more important thing that you have to look into the sign and also to the ruler of the sign if both are very stable you will expect very good results and the 10th house starts giving you very positive results so hopefully you got few more points in this video especially about the 10th house and also about the 10th house sign i'm shwetank into astrology do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye